Hi there, Dr. Lisa, Dr. Brit. Hi guys. <laughs> Dr. Brit is actually demonstrating a knee strengthening exercise. Because yes. we're talking knees today. We are. Definitely. <laughs> so if you've got knee pain and you're finding that it's stopping you from doing your exercise or sleeping comfortably or just walking comfortably and be able to pick up the kids and do any of those things or pick up the washing basket, stick around because Dr. Brute has got some answers for you. In fact, she's got three answers for do. you. So thank you, Dr. Brute. What's, what's the number oh, one right. thing? Sorry, number one. So in terms of knee pain, Aside from injury, unless you have had a specific injury to your knee, then most of the causes that we see are due to structural biomechanical issues. So number one is flat feet, which we actually spoke about last week. So your flat feet actually then start to change when you're walking, when you're running, starts to change the way that the mechanics, um, the movement through your knee when you're walking. So what tends to happen is that you start to get a lot of rotation from your femur and your tibia through your knee and it starts to internally rotate and then that it actually starts to put a lot of torsion and twist through your kneecap so we find that with our flat feet we tend to find a lot of our patients then have knee pain especially on that inner part of the knee so it's really important that if you do have flat feet that we look after that and start to create some ways of changing that through um, custom-made orthotics and all of that as well mm. which we have here in the office yes, so we, we actually do. have a 3d digital scan to assess that because the really interesting thing is that it is a big problem and it can create knee problems, but a lot of people don't actually realise they've got flat feet. Yes. Or yeah. they may realise they have flat feet, but they don't realise that it could be causing their knee yeah. issues yeah. or be a part of that knee yeah. problem. So definitely flat, flat feet is the is, is the cause. number one yeah. cause yeah. of And all the issues. times they come in, they're like, oh, it's knee pain, I can't work out why. Mm. And it's not until we look at their feet and we see they're really flat and we realise that's the reason that they're getting a lot of pressure through their knees as well. So number one is flat feet. Uh, number two is muscle weakness, um, especially through the knees. So we find that there's a lot of muscles that attach into our knees. It's a big um, strong joints. So it's really important that all these muscles work in unison and it's really common to find that when we do have patients with knee pain that we have one area of those muscles working weak or at a um, reduced capacity and then we've got other muscles that are really tight and they're overworking. So we tend to find that weakness tends to occur in the inner part of the knee so that medial part of the quadriceps muscle that tends to be weak for a lot of our patients who do mm. have that medial knee pain and then we tend to have that tighter muscle down the side well our ITB tends to be really tight, our hip flexors and also our glutes can be really tight but they can also be quite weak for a lot of people and they're our stability for all different movements and functions of our spine. So it's really important that we um, assess those and look at that muscle weakness because that's a huge cause of knee pain. But it also can be the fact that you've had this knee pain for quite a while and then all these muscles then tend to weaken and get tighter in different elements. So it's that vicious cycle yes. when it comes to the muscles through your knee as well. Yeah, and, and it's hard to know, isn't it? Like, where do you start with these these yes. you know knee yeah. problems but and it's it, it's hard to isolate it's not just a matter of saying okay it's a weak muscle or a tight muscle yes. or you need to really look at that whole system so we get people coming in that may have had say feet assessed but they haven't had their glutes assessed yeah. and that could just be constantly you know causing that problem down in that knee so you, we need to look at it globally yeah, yeah and a lot so. of the issues that i am talking about today it's not just one that a patient will present, they tend to all be present. And that kind of leads me into number three is that spinal structure. So it's looking at your pelvis and hip alignment because that tends to be the one that will affect the way that you weight bear through your knees when you're walking, especially when you're exercising. It puts a lot of pressure through your knees when you're exercising such as running, um, a lot of physical stop-start sports. Because if your pelvis is out of alignment, say if you've got one hip, um, hip that's higher, you've got um, a really tight hip flexor through there, um, 
it actually then has a flow on effect because when you're walking, if your hips are out of alignment, you're going to be putting a lot of different pressure through your knee and it's going to be putting that pressure straight through down into that kneecap as well and it create that torsion and twist through your knees as well. So it's really important that you're nice and aligned through your hips and pelvis is that you're stabilizing. If all those muscles that attach into your knee, they start from up here and it's not just your knees that then get affected, it's your lower back, it's your feet, it's, you know, it's the whole, it's your whole body because you're all connected. So it's really important that when we're looking at our knees, we look above and below because they're our connection points. We need to make sure that they're nice and stable mm. as well. Balance. Balance is the key to yes. everything. Yes. So structure first. Yeah. So seeing what's underneath the muscles is obviously your bones. Yeah. So making sure that those joints and those bones and that spine and pelvis are all aligned. Mm -hmm. And then we need the muscles to be nice and strong to support those joints. Yeah. Yeah. So first structure, then function. So it's important yet yeah, to, to have that pelvis. And, you know, seriously, so many people have got knee problems. And how many of you have actually had your pelvis and your lower back checked? Mm. Because also, where do those nerves come from that supply the muscles that go to the knee and, and allow that knee joint to work beautifully? They actually come from that lower back. Yeah. So areas that are stuck will actually affect that nerve supply to those muscles. So that's another big thing as it well. Is. Dr. And Ruth. a lot of our patients that do come and see us with knee pain, nine times out of 10, they have misalignment through their hips and pelvis. As soon mm. as they come in, you can see that twist that's happening through their pelvis. They get on the table and they've got a short leg or their hip flexors are really, really tight. So it's super, super common. But look, all these three, the flat feet, the muscle imbalances, and our pelvis and hip um, alignment, they all work hand in hand. So they all tend to kind of all be present when knee pain um, is mm. due to biomechanical and structural issues. So in terms of what Lisa said, in terms of um, now what can we do to fix it, it is its structure first and then looking at the muscle balance. So obviously with structure, having chiropractic care, coming in and assessed, by a chiropractor, which is us. <laughs> and we obviously will help deal with your knee pain, but we also look at those structural imbalances through your hips, your pelvis, um, and your feet mm. as well. Um, we look at, obviously, if the, you do have flat feet, we work to um, with mobility through your feet, but we do then, as Lisa said before, we have the custom-made orthotics that we can fit you for as well. So that's a really important thing, looking at the structure through your spine, but also um, dealing with the flat feet issue if that's a problem that's occurring. And then from there, then we work with the muscles mm -hmm. as well. So we look at um, getting giving you specific stretches to help release some of those tight muscles, especially through your hips, doing some foam rolling through your ITB, you know, which is all oh, hurts, your hamstrings, um, working on then um, with your strengthening and activation. So really two important exercises for knee pain is glute activation, making sure your glutes are firing because they should be firing every time you move, those glutes should be activating. <laughs> and um, working on activating that medial portion of your knee because that's a really important one because a lot of the times we do have knee pain, that medial portion of our quadriceps that attaches into our knee is weak. So they're really important activation exercises. So we, we give them to all our patients after we start a stru um, working on that structure and function as well. Yeah. And it doesn't happen overnight. No. no so especially the longer you've had these problems, the weaker areas are, the tighter other areas are, you know, and that just perpetuates that imbalance throughout that whole skeletal system. And, you know, it can take time. Yeah. So you, you know, it, it's, it's such an important thing because you want to get back to exercise and yes. you want to be able to feel comfortable walking and doing all those things during your day. And that's really what it's all about. So if you've got continuing issues and you need help, then give us a buzz. Even if you're about to have a, you know, or you're, you know, having an operation in the near future, it's still important to get yeah. all that structure aligned for your rehab afterwards and yeah. to get you as strong as possible before that operation if you are needing one. So, guys, give us a buzz. Like our video if you've if you've enjoyed it. Share. Private messages yes. if you need to ask us anything and you're not sure. We are actually here to help. Whether you come in or not, we're still happy for you to ask questions and we love answering those questions. So, Dr. Brew, was there anything else for today? No, but just if you are suffering from knee pain, 
you know, you don't have to. There's so many things that we can be doing to help you. Mm. So make sure you do contact us. And you know, summer's around the corner. You want to be outside, being active, going for walks. So don't yeah. let that knee pain hold you back because Absolutely. there's so many th little things that we can do mm. um, to help you. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, Dr. Britt, thank you. And thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, take care. See you guys. Bye.